Hey everyone, welcome back to Super Mario RPG 2023 Remake. Uh, I think it was made on Unity, maybe? Uh, <laughs> not actually positive, but uh, anyway, welcome back. Uh, last time we stopped short of uh, seeing the Mushroom Kingdom cutscenes, the first ones. Because uh, I am actually gonna stick to my word when I said that I would keep these videos under 20 minutes. There's also this person right here that I could talk to. Listen, you'd be hiding too if you had a run-in with that crocodile creep. Maybe they changed this person's lines. Everyone thought this person right here was Luigi, but that makes no sense at all. Like, seriously. Mario, hurry, the Chancellor waits. Yep, Chancellor waits. These two always say the same line, I think. And I mean, anyway, the castle looks very nice. In the original, if you look carefully, it was kind of clear that uh, the castle was like uh, just segmented pieces and whatnot. But they still kept the map, uh, like the geometry of the map, the same. That kind of makes me feel bad. I kind of wish you could, uh, like, switch the camera around to be able to see, like, the full uh, 3D-ness of the environment. Anyway. Mario, there you are! I'll tell the Chancellor you're here. I'll wait for you down the hallway. Don't wait for Toad to go down the hallway. Jump on his head so you can go up here and find this treasure chest. <laughs> Possibly the first treasure chest you can find. I think that in, in this version they made it so that later in the game you have another opportunity to go up here but in the original that was not the case whatsoever that, that was your only opportunity to ever get that chest in the original and you would like the first time you're playing you wouldn't even know that chest existed in anyway, peach's room the princess hasn't returned yet can you imagine how the chancellor must feel what is it is the chancellor her dad probably not anyway found peaches <coughs> Hey there, what do you think you're doing? I'll give you this in exchange. Just leave everything where it was. Everyone jokes that this is some kind of special thing, but... Eh, I mean, it, it's more of an artifact from the 90s. It doesn't happen anymore, I feel. Except for people who want to pay homage to stuff like that. Which, to be clear, is like the girl... The, the main girl of the game's panties being uh, potentially found somewhere. Of course, it's called uh, uh, qu three question marks in this game, but uh, clearly the intention is supposed to be Peach's panties. You just had to censor it slightly for the American release. Regarding the treasure room, sorry, but you'll have to get the Chancellor's permission to pass. Why Peach's uh, panties are there, it's not explained. It, it they ne The people uh, who make the game never try to make logic of where why the panties are in a completely random ass location. Volkar better not be goofing off while I'm cleaning the guest room. This is the guest room, and there will be a guest here later in the game. I'm hoping to see that guest when there's an opportunity. But also, another thing is that the original, uh, it didn't show you a prompt when you'd uh, go up to that chair. You just had to press the A button randomly. <laughs> Toad disappeared as I was talking to him. Kind of weird. Sir, Mario has arrived! And you have to walk up. Don't don't run away. <laughs> I think I think they might stop you if you try to run away. Mario, thank goodness you're here. We heard an explosion or something at Bowser's Keep. It was so loud I almost dropped my spores. Uh, excuse me? Where's the princess? She departed for your house hours ago. I fear the worst. Could Bowser somehow be behind all of this? I mean, he was, initially. <laughs> Spore's alive! You're telling us that Bowser has ab abducted the princess again? Yeah, I, I misspelled that on purpose, because in the original playthrough of the Revolution, I said abducted or something like that. Tripping over my own words? That never happens. Anyway, never mind. It will be up for you to enter the keep and rescue Princess Peach. I already did that. Somehow Mario manages to shake the entire castle. And then you talk to Toad. <laughs> Egad! The keep is unassailable? What awful powers at work here! Mayor, her life is in your hands. Please, save our dear princess. Hey Mario! You're making sure to equip the things you get, right? 
Shall I have Toad explain the process? Yes, please! I know how, but I wasn't able to show this in the original uh, Revolution Blade through because at the time I was using uh, the, an emulator that couldn't uh, handle the hack. I was using ZesNest instead of SNS9X. Uh, that being said, I have to say, that tutorial does not, it wouldn't work with kids. <laughs> it wouldn't work with a five-year-old or even a six-year-old. RPGs are hard to teach. That's all there is to it. <laughs> Especially classic RPGs like this one. Anyway, there, there, now I feel more at ease. You can buy armor and accessories in item shops. Now then, take care. Mario! Forgive me, but I can't stop worrying about the princess. Go to the sheller and prepare for your journey. The Vault Guard shall assist you. Is it Sheller or Cellar? I want to say Cellar, because that's just the natural way to say it for me, but... You are you were not out here in the original, by the way, this Vault Guard. He was uh, still waiting in his, uh, his small occasion, but I guess they want to teach players. Anyway, Mario, the chance for me on the Vault is right over here. Here's the Vault, let me show you around. Help yourself to the treasures. This is a coin! The small ones are worth one, the large ones are worth ten. This one's a ten! Huh. That coin doesn't seem that large, but whatever. This is a flower. These flowers from treasure chests work a little differently from the flower items. Treasure chest flowers increase your flower points as soon as you grab one, but you can't carry them with you. Flower tabs, on the other hand, you can take with you. If you use those from the menu, You'll increase your flower points. Fuck, there's no reason not to use them right away. This is a mushroom, but you didn't do that by looking at it, right? Huh? These mushrooms you get from church chests don't quite work don't work quite like their mushroom items. Church chest mushrooms restore board HP and FP when you open the chest. Well you can't save them for later. Mushrooms you find as items only restore your HP, but you can take them with you to use whenever you want. Also I mentioned that flower tabs you basically have to use them right away, you don't have a reason to keep them. You actually do have one to keep them. It, they'll fully restore your flower points when you use them, so if you want, you can hold on to them. I think that's only in this game, though. Come back here! Come back here! Come on, Mallow. Failure. Oh no, that reptile stole my grandpa's coin! Boo hoo hoo! I can't cry! Big boys don't cry, but it's just not fair! What am I gonna do? Wah. Well, all the to all the toads have uh, expressions. That's kind of neat. Don't know what that reptile's up to, but man, can he jump! It was that reptile. He's the one who stole my wallet, but I let him get away. Uh, we're gonna talk to that toad later. It'd be kind of story breaking if we talk to him right now. Anyway, let's talk to this character that I already spoiled the name of. Yes? Gee, you're soaking wet, aren't you? you? Can start to stop the rain whenever you want. I'm all right now. Sorry. There's nothing like a good cry. But why was I crying? There was some reason. My grandpa asked me to buy some things for him here. When I walked into town, that croc stopped me. Oh yeah, he took it from me. He stole my coin. I chased him, but he's way too fast. Mario, let's see how you're going to take care of Bowser. By jumping. Wow, he doesn't stand a chance. Wow, you're D, Mario? I know all about you. You've got more jump in you than a box of frogs. I'm Mallow from Tartal Pond. I'm a frog, but can you believe it? I can't jump. Embarrassing, huh? How about it, Mario? Will you help me catch that filthy thief? Uh, you can make uh, Mallow cry if you want. I did that in the original uh, playthrough, and I'm pretty sure it's the same here. But we're just gonna go ahead and be positive. Thank you, thank you, thank you! 
Young Frog Milo, who doesn't look at all like a frog, joins Mary in his quest. Scrapbook. Scrapbook internal here. The, the cutscenes, that's what it is. Oh, wait, but we can't watch them. Hmm. Maybe it's going to be at the end of the game or something. Or you could just watch the long play when I'm done with it. <laughs> Let's go here first. Hey, Mallow, what kept you? I was starting to worry. Wait until you hear this, you see? Wait, I've already heard. The fall fraud sage told me he seems to know everything. Hold on. Listen. The truth of the matter is, well, um, the coin was stolen. What? Well, if that's the case, I guess we can't trade. What a shame, huh? Oh, but there's no need to worry. Mara here will help us out. Is that so? Well, if Mara's on your team, you'll have that coin back in a jiffy. Not so fast. Take this with you. You'll probably need it. Gotta pick me up. We probably will need it, especially if you're playing this game for the first time. Mara, I have something to report, sir. I saw him. He's here somewhere. He just zoomed past me a second ago. Did you see him? Did he look something like this? Why, yes, exactly! He's the one who took my coin! Why didn't you stop him? Because I forgot my bazooka at home. Sheesh, give me a break here. Yeah, a lot of people are happy they kept this line in. <laughs> Come back here! Ha ha! You mugs will never catch me! A snail could outrun you morons! Later! That's him! Hurry, Mario, let's get him! Let us indeed get him. Mario, you wanna might want to take this. Got a map. Okay, that's, uh, that, that was not in the original. Uh, but a, a map did exist in the original, it's just... You had it automatically, I believe, so, you know. Anyway, let's equip uh, the signal rain on Mallow, real quick. Uh, and actually, let's buy some pants, too. We're gonna do a bit of Bandit's Way, but we're probably not gonna complete it because it's already been 13 minutes for me. You know, I hate to admit it, but I love this job. What are you looking for? I'm looking for pants. That's what I'm looking for. Also, I could have equipped him right away, but I, I just couldn't press the button. <laughs> I'm not used to it. All the quality of life changes. Like, that's how probably a lot of kids equip their stuff in this game when they buy the stuff, because going into the menu? Who wants to do that? There he is! He probably stashed it in the bag. Let's nab him. Are you trying to tell me? Go on home to mommy before you get hurt, kid. We will be getting home to his mommy uh, later in the game. <laughs> Bandit's way. Wow, that, that gobo moves quickly. They did move uh, that kind of like that in the original, but... Uh, Strange. Anyway, yeah, stronger than usual monsters. That's one of their uh, answers for um, the difficulty being easier because of uh, gauge moves and whatnot. Yeah, hammer animation. Oh, we already have Todd Peak. Well, to be to be frank though, there's like videos of uh, all the Todd Peaks being revealed already to many people. Ow. I need to get used to the timings again. Almost down, okay. And a frog point, nice. It does not much make, make much sense lore-wise that uh, you can get a frog point this early in the game, but you know. There's also the hidden treasure chest frog coin that I showed earlier in the video. That, it, like for me, it just doesn't make much sense to be able to get frog coins like that. But no, the frog coin we're trying to get back is special, so you know. <laughs> we gotta pretend that those frog coins don't count. We do want to get frog coins though. Frog coins will be required for some special equipment later on. I understand why they, um, they, uh, like, or in the original when you did the uh, Thunderbolt uh, timing properly, the whole screen would flash white. I understand that they 
they didn't do that in this remake because, you know, some people have photosensitivity and you don't want to hurt their eyes. Anyway, you can jump to save your life, kid, so I guess this is goodbye! Krakos keeps talking to us like we're a mallow. There's a hidden treasure chest nearby. Hey, what? Come on. Hidden treasure chest is right here. Croca Cola. This is a nice uh, change of a name right there. In the original, it was Kiro Kiro Cola, and I understand some people still like that. But it, it, it was a, mostly a Japanese onomatopoeia that uh, it used that. So it didn't make much sense for it to stay in English. So now it being called Croca Cola, it's just it's much catchier. Also, the K9. I never. It's only like recently that I figured out that the K9 is a pun on a uh, canine. The, race of dogs that uh, is called uh, call them you know canines I never I never caught on to that until until like a month ago I just thought canine was an extremely cool name for this thing that's the fear effect what fear does is it um, makes you deal less damage and also block less damage yeah we're gonna use Thunderbolt a lot Thunderbolt is like Malo's best use this early on in the game. Uh, I always thought that way. He, without a weapon, Malo just can't deal much damage. Uh, it's been 18 minutes. Oh, you're a persistent pest. Find out I'm 100 miles ahead of you. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Is this the end? I don't think it is. Oh, wow, it is. Okay, this video is going to be a little extra longer. Because we're going to fight Croco now in that case. Uh, there's something over there. Actually, no, we're not going to fight Croco because there's still quite a bit. There's, there's some areas I for completely forgot about that uh, we haven't gone through yet. Yeah, th that's... Uh, oh, once again, that's one of the most overpowered uh, bonus flowers. Because you just move... You, you just do a move again. I'll show Malo's attack in case I forget to show it later. Now, that was a lot of damage right there, but believe me... Uh, in the original, Mallow was just pathetic in terms of damage. He probably deals like decent quote unquote damage now because of uh, the changes to the HP levels and whatnot. Anyway, level up! And now we see the little dance, level up dance that uh, we added for this game. <laughs> HP rain! HP renewal. Hits A, hit A just before a shower ends. We want to give him more physical power. To be quite frank, though, no, we actually don't want to give him more physical power. It's just, it's just well, how it is, right? You just want the most stats possible, even though technically speaking, we really should just focus on uh, special for uh, Mallow. You know, engage move. It's still toad assist. Yellow mushroom. What does this do? Power mushroom. Nice. And also HP back. But I lost my turn. Damn it. Okay, I said I would extend the video a bit longer, but we're actually going to go do this next area right here, and then we're going to save. Because I want to do the star. <laughs> star is only going to take like a minute. Give it up already. The trish box is tempting, but now is not the time. Oh man, I keep flip-flopping. Okay, you know what? Forget it. Let's just do it. Let's go ahead and beat Croco. It just, in terms of video, it just makes more sense for me to beat Croco. Also, yes, stars are very fun in this game because you get a whole bunch of levels, or a whole bunch of experience, and potentially levels, so quickly. Yep, so it makes perfect sense here. Now we're going with a max HP bonus. Now we have to go all the way to get the treasure box over there. Now the game is in real 3D, but it's still isometric with one camera angle. So it might still be difficult for some people to see how to get that uh, treasure box. But that being said, it's still easier than when it was in the original, which was fake 3D. Dead end! And they won't give up. I'll just have to hide. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of enemies here we could fight, but no, we're gonna go straight for Croco. He's gone to hiding. Let's see if we can sneak up behind him and catch him. If you miss, if you don't read that dialogue right there, 
Uh, well, let's just say you might uh, not understand what you're supposed to do here. What's this? You fools couldn't chase down a pumpkin! Okay, come on. I, I literally didn't move from my position. Ha! Your eyes are much faster than your feet! At this rate, it'll take you 100 more years to catch me. Okay, I didn't want to fight that guy. You know what? Let's run away. I wanted to show that uh, thing. Croco changes direction after a while, so if you're too far to reach uh, his blind spot uh, from a location, you just go the other way. Anyway, at this rate, it'll take him uh, 50 more years to catch him. Oh. You don't get punished if you uh, get caught again, by the way. What's this? You fools can just stay. What? What do you mean I could just out a pumpkin? I was straight behind you, you dumbass. Anyway, you again? This is getting old. It'll still take you. Enough, you got me fair and square. I'll give you back your coin. Whoa! Did you really believe me? I was. lying! Cool. Let's burn the croc. Ouch! Now we can. This is actually really cool that we can see that the uh, croc was not going to be able to do anything. He's got quite a few weaknesses. Gosh, I'm good. Croc was down in the tail fire. <laughs> gonna use a bob, and there was a small chance for me to block that, but I missed it. Gonna see HP rain. I don't think I got the timing. Yeah, weird mushroom restore 60 HP. Uh, can't use fireball again, so. No, what? Let's use jump. Jump uh, becomes progressively stronger the more you do it. Also, Croco skips a turn after using the uh, weird mushroom. Got a freebie! That is one of the things that makes Super Mario RPG so easy. The freebie system. It's extremely generous. And it works on all items. Even the super powerful ones. Give me back my coin or I'll belt you again! Punch! Ouch! I'm gonna pay you back in spades, kid! Go on, take your, back your gruppy old coin! Adios, amigos! In the original, he uh, was jumping around quite a bit, but here the animations are a lot clearer about what's happening. Anyway, alright, we got it back! We win, we get a flower tab, everything's good. Yeah, we did it! We got Grandpa's coin back! I can finish my errand now. Hey, look at this! The Croco guy left a wallet! Found a wallet. I'm going back to the Mushroom Kingdom's item shop. If you want to join me, we can use the map to go to the Mushroom Kingdom together. Uh, we're going to use the... Oh, wow, I forgot to use the flower jar. <laughs> we're going to use the flower tab, too. Uh, there's no more... Oh, that's so sad. There's no more sun trampolines. Oh, I'm actually really sad that they're gone. They're useless now because... We can just use the map to leave. Basically, we go here and we go map. We'll just go this. Kind of wish the sunflower trampolines were still there. Rest in peace, sunflower trampolines. Oh, it looks like there's some trouble going on here, but we're actually going to stop here. Hope you've all enjoyed this video, and I'll have a very nice day. Bye-bye!